Now, when I see this expression, it looks a little complicated, but what I can do is I can take these two together. So when I'm going to multiply it, I'll get what? X square minus 5X. And when I'm going to multiply these two also, I'll get X square minus 5X. So maybe I'll try and sort it out. I hope that it does work. So I take these two together. So I can write it as what? I can write it as X minus 1, X minus 4, and it'll be X minus 4 minus X minus 1. And then here, I'll take 4 common. And here I'll write x minus 2, x minus 3, and then I'll write it as uh, minus x minus 3, and then plus x minus 2, and this is less than 1 by 30, right? So when I'll solve it here, x and x will cancel, I'll get what? I'll get minus 4 plus 1. So this is minus 3, so minus 3, and this is x squared minus 5x plus 4 and here I'll get what here I'll get minus and minus will cancel and here I'll get plus 4 upon x square minus 5x plus 6 and this is less than 1 by 30 so this is less than 1 by 30 So if I take the LCM and then solve it, I'll get what x minus 1, x minus 4, x minus 2, x minus 3, and then here I'll get minus 3x square plus 15x minus 18 plus 4x square minus 20x plus 16 is less than. 1 by 30. So the condition I'll get is x square minus 5x minus 2 upon x square minus 5x plus 4 into x square minus 5x plus 6 is less than 1 by 30. So all I need to do in this question is I need to take x square minus 5x is y so i can simply write it as y minus 2 upon y plus 4 or y plus 6 and then this is less than 1 by 30. so now solve this polynomial inequality in y and then finally get the answer in x now i can write it as 30y minus 60 minus y square plus 10y plus 24 upon 30 y plus 4 or y plus 6 less than 0 so if I'll simplify I can write it as minus y square minus 20y plus 84 divided by 30 y plus 4 y plus 6 less than 0 so if I'll factorize the numerator I can write it as minus y minus 14 y minus 6 upon 30 y plus 4 y plus 6 less than 0 so now if I'll take a number line and if I mark all the points I can write it as minus 6 minus 4 6 and 14 now sign of the rightmost is minus so this is minus plus minus plus and minus now what do we need we need less than zero which is minus so the condition i'll get is y belongs to minus infinite to minus six union minus 4 to 6 union 14 to infinite i need to find the values of x not the values of y so what you know is y is equal to x square minus 5x so i need to write three cases case one when y is less than minus 6 which is x square minus 5x is less than minus 6 or y lies between 
minus 4 and 6 that is x square minus 5x lies between 4 and 6 or y is greater than 14 that is x square minus 5x should be greater than 14. Now I'll solve the first one. So I'll write x square minus 5x plus 6 is less than 0. So if I'll factorize, I'll get what? x minus 2, x minus 3, less than 0. So 2, 3, plus, minus, and plus. I need minus. So that is my first part, which is x should lie between 2 and 3. Now I'll solve the third part first. So this is x square minus 5x minus 14. It should be greater than zero. So which is x minus seven, x plus two should be greater than zero. So minus two and then seven. So plus minus and plus, what you need is plus. So either it is less than minus two or greater than seven. So x belongs to minus infinite to minus two union seven to infinite. Now coming to the second inequality, I need to take two separate cases, case one and then case two. So one is minus four is less than x square minus five x and x square minus five x is less than six. So if I solve this first part, I can write as x square minus 5x plus 4 is greater than 1, which is x minus 1. x minus 4 is greater than 0. So this is 1 and 4 plus minus and plus. I need plus. And for the second part, I'll write it as x square minus 5x minus 6 is less than 0, which is x plus 1 x minus 6 is less than 0, minus 1 and then 6 which is plus, minus and plus. So I'll take minus. Now because there is an end condition, I'll need to take the intersection of the two solutions. So I'll plot both the solution on the same number line. So first one is less than 1 or greater than 4 and the second one is it should lie between minus 1 and 6. Now the interval which is common to both is x belongs to minus 1 to 1 union 4 to 6. Now all the three cases, the condition is or and when the condition is or, we take union. So answer to this question will be x belongs to minus infinite to minus 2, union minus 1 to 1, union 2 to 3, union 4 to 6, union 7 to infinite. So this is how we solve these questions.